Hey family, happy Thursday. I hope that as you are listening to this message that you are doing well. Um, I hope that you and your family are in good health. As as we get through this time, um, as we continue to move forward during this time, I just wanted to, to remind each and every one of you that we as a church are here for you. If you are in need of anything at all, at all please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here for you. We love you. We're praying for you. We're thankful for you. We are with you during this time. So today, I wanted to talk about what is normal. So when we think about normal, we think about, you know, maybe going to work, um, getting the kids ready for school, um, you know, going to church, getting together for birthdays and watching sports and going out to dinner. You know, when we think about normal, we think about all the things that, you know, are normal to us, you know, being able to celebrate birthdays and holidays and anniversaries, being able to look forward to the sports season, whether it be football or basketball, you know, being able to go and take a walk on the beach, go and lay out and tan on the beach where, you know, I currently live in San Diego, so the weather is beautiful all year long here in San Diego. So I very much enjoy going to the beach. I very much enjoy um, going to the park and having a picnic. All of those things are normal to us. Whatever your normal looks like, it's somewhat similar to our normal here. And so what are those things that you have had that are normal in your life that you no longer have access to? Those things that maybe you have now had to distance yourself from, you know, getting together with family, you know, family dinners, gatherings, you know, all of those things have been taken from us. So our normals have changed. Our normal, our, our new normal doesn't look the way that it always has. So those things have been normal to us, but now we're currently living in a new normal. So I read a quote that says, in the rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. Maybe you wanna get back to now, but maybe the things you wanna get back to now are the same things you were trying to escape from before. Think about it. Is what you're expecting to return to really worth your time and energy? The things that you are hoping to get back to, the things that you are anxious to get back to, are those things really worth your time, your energy, your focus? Use this time to consider what is actually worth getting back to. Pastor Josh once said, create a life that you do not need to regularly escape from. And that really hit me because I'm busy, you know, I work all day and then I go and I exercise and then I come home and I make dinner and, you know, before I was walking my dog and then, you know, you shower and you get ready and you go to bed and so all of these things just cause the days to fly by. Next thing I know, it's time for the next day and time to repeat and do it all over again. And so it really caused me to think about creating a life that I don't need to regularly escape from, a life that I don't have to take a break from all the time. You know, going on vacation is great, but create a life around you now that you don't have to feel like you need a vacation from all the time. So are the things you are now praying for the things you were praying away a few months ago? I think about that all the time. What am I praying for now that I was asking God to take from me before? So God is bringing us into a new normal because what we thought was normal was only what we knew. So what is God teaching you in this season? What have you taken for granted that you are now learning to appreciate? I believe what God is doing in this season is to set me free from the things I never needed to begin with. Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Pastor Stephen was preaching this past weekend and he said that conform is the way the world works from the outside in. But transform is the way God works from the inside out. 
So be free from what you cannot control. I cannot receive what God has is trying to give me in this season if I am holding on to what is old. I have to let go to move forward. So I want to challenge you with some homework this week. Decide what is worth going back to once we return to our normal lives. How many things or people did we take for granted that now we cannot wait to get back to? And what are those things that maybe we need to let go? What are those things that really weren't benefiting our lives? What are those things that weren't contributing to our lives? Or who are those people that weren't really helping us in our journey? Think about these things, family, this week and reflect upon them and, you know, pray to God, give them to God. You know, if there's things in your life that you're not sure if God is asking you to let go or to hold on to, give them to him. And he will reveal to you whether or not those are things that you need to keep in your life. Because this is the perfect time for us to reflect upon, you know, what kind of life do we want to go back to? What kind of normal do we want to go back to? Because now we have a chance to stop and change anything we want to change. Anything about our lives that we're unhappy with, now's the time to change it. And guess what? We can go back and have a new normal. We can go back and have a new routine. We can no go back and have a new outlook on life. So we don't have to return to the normal that we once knew. This is our time now to create a new normal. Praying to God, asking him, you know, what does that look like? Lord, what do you want to give me in this season? What are you trying to teach me? Where do I need to go from here? So family, let's, let's have a word of prayer. Father God, thank you so much for this time. Thank you, Lord, that we can come together as a family, Lord, and just tune in, Father God, to a seven minute social, Father God, that will enlighten us and help us and encourage us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we have a community that we can reach out to, Lord, when we feel alone or discouraged or down, Father God. I ask that you be with each person that is watching this video, God. I pray with all of my heart that you uplift them, that you love them, that you hold them, that you encourage them, that you bless them, that you continue to be with them, Lord, during this time. Help them to know, Father God, that they have a community and a church family that loves them, that are praying for them, that are wanting nothing but the best for them, Lord. We ask that you be with us now, Lord, as we move forward into this week, Lord. Help us to reflect upon those things, Lord, that you are telling us to let go. Help us to cling to those things that you are trying to give us, Father God, and, and, not, and not be anxious to what our new normal might look like. Be with us, Lord, and continue to help us through this week and during this time, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, family, I hope you have a great and happy Thursday. Until next time, God bless each and every one of you.